Welcome Taurus to your mid-May love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we are going to jump right into the reading. We're going to use the AF Tarot deck for the main or for the uh, overall energies for the main spread. We're going to use the Soul Cards Tarot and then clarify some of the cards using the Lucid Dreams Beginning Tarot deck. Okay, so let's jump right in. Your Carl your cards have already been shuffled. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them just like this and see what's coming through. We have air sign coming out in reverse. No, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have five of cups. Ace of swords. Okay, you could be getting some clarity due to an air sign for some of you guys or someone carrying this energy. Yeah, the world. And the Spirit of Cups and the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. Okay. Let's see what's coming through. Again, keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. I feel like you're moving forward as someone is rushing and not thinking about the consequences or feelings of others. <laughs> I'm linking this card to this card because that's what that is. Is your person. That's your person. The star is losing faith. Both single, maybe independent, feeling whole within yourself. Or maybe both of you want to be single here. We have the sun, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming in. Hello. Seven of cups. You have other options for sure with the two of pentacles. Hmm. Nine of wands. With the Six of Swords, Page of Wands, Four of Wands. You know, I like your energy a lot. I've been liking your energy, Taurus. Um, because... I feel like you're being very logical and pretty calm in this situation. I feel like, okay, let, let's just go ahead and get started. There is a feeling of in and out when it comes to with this connection. There is something that is hard to close still, right? I do feel like there is a feeling of a possibility of wanting something to work, um, but maybe very fulfilled within yourself. Like you have a lot of self-love, you're very independent. You could be an energy that like, you know, fulfills themselves, <laughs> doesn't really need someone to fulfill them. But there is somebody here that I feel is that you're kind of losing faith in, really not taking too much, you know, not having too much hopes, uh, not like putting all your eggs in one basket, so to say. And with the Five of Cups, it's more of like, oh, uh, maybe avoiding this person as you're starting to see the truth. Uh, maybe you know where this person is in life. But I feel like there is some truthful conversation or some truth that is being revealed to you to where you could just be kind of like leaving this on hold, not completely shutting the chapter, like closing out the cycle, but like leaving this person open for the future, um, but still moving forward. Okay, because I feel like this person is is going off of a selfish energy. Um, they're more of you know, doing things off impulse right now. Um, they're not really thinking too much of the consequences, not caring about how other people feel. I feel like this person is just really um, focusing on themselves and that's it. And again, not really showing that much interest as wanting any type of stability in uh, within this connection or within life. And I feel like with you, you're like already moving forward from this um, you could have found something out here with this energy. Now with the with the star, <laughs> the challenge is, is that, yeah, like making this wish come true in a way, right? Um, so I do feel like that's why, like it would be nice, but if this, if you did have this connection, but um, with the star, it's more stating that like, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm losing faith in even thinking that this is going to be anything more. Um, I feel like both of you guys are more very independent and whole within yourself. So it is showing the Nine of Pentacles and the mutual. So it is stating that you're independent. This person's independent. You're confident. This person's confident. You may be in a more steady pace. This person's in a rushy pace and a selfish pace. Uh, and I feel like you're just like open, but you 
but at the same time as you're independent and maybe dating around or talking to someone or in this connection, you're still wanting some type of respect and for someone to care and respect you, right? I don't feel like there's really much coming from this energy, to be honest. I do feel is that they kind of like left, like they're kind of like out of this picture, but they're still on your mind. We do have the sun. Um, there's no doubt that this person looks at you as the happiest card in the deck. They find you totally attractive. They find you, you know, beautiful inside and out. They... I'm sure they have a lot of fun with you. They, they, they care about you. You bring a lot of positivity into their life. Um, and then we have this King of, of Wands energy uh, coming in. I feel like this is like maybe another person for some of you. <clears throat> um, you also could be a little bit confused about. But in the end, I mean, what the most powerful thing of this whole reading, and this is what I'm like, I'm still gonna clarify is that your self-love for you is so strong. You have morals, you have experience, you're very intelligent, you're coming up just like always moving forward. You know you're gonna get past any challenge. That's the energy I've been getting from Taurus. Nothing's really gonna stop you. Not, it's like you're not really taking this too seriously. You know, it's like, oh, it's disappointing, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna ruin your whole day. I don't feel like that. I feel like you, um, the people, the reason why people look at you as positivity and like the sun is because nothing holds you back for too long. You always, it feels like an energy of like, yeah, you get stuck, but you know how to get yourself out. This person is even lucky to have you around, <laughs> you know, like the door is still open, but there's a possibility it may not fulfill you, but you know what? You're okay because you fulfill yourself, you know? I don't know. I, I just get that feeling. There, uh, here with the Seven of Cups, it looks like there's options. Lots of options for you. The possibilities, endless, right? And then the outcome, it's feeling overwhelmed. Uh, maybe feeling like you're juggling too much or doing, doing too much anyways. Maybe you're very distracted with other things to really be concentrating too much on an energy. But either way, the Two of Pentacles is stating that there's a, a feeling of going in and out of emotions, feeling of maybe juggling um, a lot here. We do have the page... Uh, the page of wands and we have the 10 of pentacles with the four of wands there's something coming in that has to do with relationships long-term stability see i don't think you take that very lightly i think that you take your relationships and long-term and relationships very seriously um you could be holding off from that uh, for some of you guys with the four of pentacles but there is some type of message or someone curious maybe to know where you stand i don't know Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this is just being, you have gone through a lot. And I feel like you're very, you know, I feel like you've just gone through a lot. Hmm. Nine of swords. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're having fun. They're being a little player <laughs> out in the world. Yep. Knight of, oh my gosh. They have three knights. Now to understand about the knights, they're travelers. They are not wanting to settle down, okay? Clearly, they do not want to settle down. They have the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords confirming the Nine of Swords. So basically, this person is literally just wanting to have fun. They're wanting to, you know, they're fast thinking. They're doing things very impulsive. It's like summertime type of energy here for this person. Um, I don't feel like they're wanting to disrespect you or have any intentions to disrespect you. I feel like this is where it's important to look at their actions and not take it personally. And that's what I feel like that's what you're doing. You're kind of like, yeah, I'm going to keep my guard up from this person, but I'm still going to mentally move forward. It's kind of like you got your answer or your confirmation, but you're not going to take it again personally. Because it does feel like this person is uh, focused on, you know, just pursuing what they want to pursue. Yeah. <laughs> With this full energy, yeah, there's no beginning. Okay. All right. I, I see that you get, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't. I think you're kind of nervous to start something new with this person in, in, anyways, just by how their actions are or maybe their past actions. Um, you could be viewing this person as like, eh, this is not maybe not the right direction or maybe this could be somebody that you have on the side as to why the, the, the world is not fully closed. Um, I don't feel like you're taking that leap of faith towards them right now. No, I don't really 
feel like you see a solid new beginning. I feel like you're out here looking at other options. Yeah, because this person is clearly inconsistent. Not uh, inconsistent. They're more of, well, they can be. Uh, they're more of just like, I want to go have fun. I'm independent. I just want to do my thing. You could be feeling that way too for some of you. <laughs> I mean, I call it summer energy, you know, just the summer. It brings out like the sun's out. People are planning river trips or going out places. And this is like a huge opportunity. And we have the sun card, so that's cool to see. The queen of cups in reverse is in the challenge. Oh, you're not giving too much. I like that. I feel like you're not, uh-uh, you're not gonna give this person anything really. I feel like you're just, Maybe you could just be viewing him like this right now, but I don't feel like you're really putting that much effort into this person. <laughs> you're like, oh, this person, I'm going to keep my emotions to myself. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep them over here because this person, it will be very reckless with your emotions. And that's why I feel like you're seeing really clearly. I love your energy, Taurus. I really do. Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Five of Wands in reverse. Too much co conflict uh, when it comes to long-term commitment. You could have tried it with this person before and it just didn't work out. I feel like there's just a clash here. Um, and I, don't, I think you just kind of see how this person is now. But there is like, it's still like showing like the doors open though for them. So that's interesting. The sun. This person could be operating from a very vengeful, angry low confident selfish place now i'm not saying they're like that with you but the reason why they're acting like that something is creating them to act out this way hmm they could be trying to get someone's attention by acting like a fool like you know so maybe this has nothing to do with you or maybe it does but it, it doesn't feel like you're reacting to it or anything interesting interesting Let's get this King of Wands. Ten of Swords. Ooh, this person could be going through some painful changes. See, there's something that's making this person act out. And the Ten of Swords is some type of ending. And the Seven of Cups is stating that there's like some other options. I feel like this is more of you. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this could have been a big betrayal with you too. Like this person may have done that. Maybe trying to get your attention. But I am getting... This person is operating from low self-esteem as to why they're behaving so inconsistently and just on the pursuit and being reckless with their energy. Yeah, they're not willing to give anybody equal give and take. Again, selfishness is all over here. See, they're looking at it as more of self-care by just doing what they're doing. But... It feels like they're running around at the Knight of Wands with no strings attached. Like they don't want to be held down. And that's why I feel like you're kind of looking at this person as not really as like it's not coming from spirit. Like this is not a soulmate connection. It's in reverse. Spirit of Cups is in reverse. So this love connection is not coming from spirit. I don't feel. I feel like there is love for you with the Ace of Cups. Like you fulfill yourself. Um you're leaving the door open though if this person maybe wants to come in again later on but i don't feel like this is a place to take this person seriously at this time two of pentacles i don't know who this is but we have fire and air coming into the reading gemini libra aquarius aries leo sagittarius oh they're sad they don't even know what they want what the heck now, oh, I hope you're not getting disappointed about this, Taurus. I don't feel like you are. This person I feel is really sad. They're operating from an insecure, low self-esteem place. Um, hmm. The Three of Wands is saying that there's a lot of delays in setbacks and a lot of obstacles and unexpected delays. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I feel like this message is going to come in, but I don't think you want to be part of this inconsistent night energy, do you? I mean, like, because they, I mean, if, I'm sure if you opened up or sent them a message, uh, they, they would come right after you, too. 
that's just the energy I'm getting. But this is not an energy. And I feel like you're already suspicious about this person. So I don't feel like this is an energy that you're really going to look at as long term. Um, yeah, no. I feel like they're going to come in maybe when they're at their lowest. Maybe this is someone that you connect with on a spiritual level or in like a more... Um, like you have history with this person. So I, I would, I mean, I think this message is going to come in when they're sad about something. Yeah, because they're very unhappy. In reality, they're happy. They're unhappy. Yeah, they're going through, it's like they're going through some type of tower moment. See, if you're taking, if, if you're taking this, personally i don't think you are i don't see anything that you're taking it personally but this ten of swords i feel like this is their ten of swords and they're acting out i'm gonna keep saying it sorry but i feel like a message is gonna come in when they're really sad and everything starts oh this could be a tw your twin flame family or friends disapprove of this connection um when they're really upset but i feel like you guys will come back together again they were pretending to be somebody else yeah and you make me want to be a better person. And there was someone interfering in our relationship. That's what I feel. I feel like there's a lot of delays in this connection because it's like a twin flame energy. Like you leave the door open for, but it's not something that will be committed long term from what I feel like. I mean, I'm not saying it's never going to happen. I'm just saying like for right now, this person's going through something and... Interesting. All right, here we go. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. I feel like that's what you're understanding. It's like if this person is going through a hard time and you start seeing their behavior like this, I feel like you're going to understand it's, it's natural, right? Not take it personal. If you start seeing, like if you're dating somebody and they're behaving that way, you're like, hmm, who are they trying to make jealous here, right? Or <laughs> why are they acting like that? Like, or this person is definitely not acting like a commitment type or they're serious about relationships. Do I want to join in on the fun? That's your decision if you want to go ahead and join on the fun. Uh, on the fun. But make sure not to get your feelings hurt in the end because this person is literally in that energy of being reckless and having fun and on the pursuit. Um, so I do feel like you're noticing that something you're noticing something like that. So emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision in order to see things clearly. You must let go of resentment. Yeah. So I don't feel like you're, you may have taken this personal before, but I don't think you're taking it personal now. I don't feel like you're, you're moving on. Like this is not like, I don't even think you see a solid new beginning with this energy, honestly. Okay. I'm going to leave it here, Taurus. I really like your energy in this reading. Very wise. Looking at both sides. Not getting emotions involved. Super logical. And super caring. I love that. I, it's still, still open. I mean, I don't feel like there's any hard feelings within this energy. I do feel like they are. Again, I'll keep saying it. It's a selfish energy at this time. Okay. All right. Um, if you do resonate with this message or if it helped in any way, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. God bless.